If there's one thing we've learned in our years of exploring nature, it's that no matter how experienced you are, sometimes things won't go according to plan. However, when you're exploring a stunning habitat for the very first time, deviating from your set plan is not always a bad thing. We have come to the forested swamps of central North Carolina in search of some of the incredible creatures that make the swamp their home. Today we are exploring alongside two seasoned wildlife educators, Spencer Hoffman and Emilio Pazmino. Spencer is an incredible wildlife filmmaker who lives in this part of North Carolina, and Emilio is a talented educator who travels all over the world. With our combined effort, we should be able to see all sorts of amazing stuff. Despite what you may think, the swamp is full of life, and not all of it is muddy and ugly. We had come to this part of the swamp in search of reptiles and amphibians, and as we scanned the vegetation with Spencer, Emilio wandered away to look for reptiles. Finding wildlife in the swamp takes intense focus, and by the time I had put my head up to check on everyone else, Emilio had returned with one of the most impressive snakes I've ever seen. Currently, we have a very large, chunky water snake. I think it's a brown water snake, but the North Carolina natives have to get over here to confirm it. And I'm actually have my eye on, on what I do know is a red belly water snake. Now, the problem is that I currently am dealing with one snake, so I would rather someone come and help me get the other snake, that way we can present both of them at the same time. So here's the problem though, Emilio is all the way over there across a body of water that's far too deep for us to cross, and besides we don't want to disturb the habitat, so right now we sent Harrison running all the way down in this direction towards a fallen log that will be able to scale his way across the creek, and Spencer is back in the distance trying to find another crossing. And we have Emilio sitting on two giant water snakes. Getting over to Emilio was definitely going to be tough, but luckily for me, there were some fallen trees that I could navigate across that were felled by a previous rainstorm. After carefully picking my way across to the other bank, I rushed over to Emilio to make the catch on the red-bellied water snake. Alright, Emilio has the other water snake, I'm going to grab this one. It was a tall ass, look at this. Whoop. What is tall ass? As I say. Wow! Look at that! <laughs> We're not gonna hold him up. There we go. Support the body. What? <laughs> Look at that! All right, I made it. You made it. Holy cow, they're huge! In the time it took you to get over here, these guys have calmed down quite a bit. So the brown water snake is now a puppy dog. This one, not so much yet, but it's getting there. The plain belly will calm down in a sec. That's the red-bellied color morph, not its own species, but these are two of the most exceptional snakes you can find in the swamp here in North Carolina. I am absolutely reeling right now. This is insane. Two water snake species in hand at the same time. I have the plain-bellied water snake. We think that this is the red-bellied water snake color morph. You can see that beautiful orange belly that goes all the way down this whole snake's body. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I have a brown water snake, which we also do get back in Florida. But just look at how big this guy is right here. And it seems like it just shed too because its scales are so bright. This is easily the largest water snake I have ever seen. This eclipses all of the northern water snakes we get back home. This thing is massive. In fact, I don't even think you guys can fully appreciate how big it is if I'm just holding it. Spencer, come here. Help me extend yes. it. Yes. Try and support its tail. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really see, that's okay. the money shot. You can see just how huge this snake is. When we say huge, even this is a large plain-bellied water snake, but compared to the brown, it's got nothing. Oh yeah, these are amazing little swamp dwellers, super aquatic snakes. You can find them in pretty much any freshwater habitat, and the species you're gonna get is gonna depend on the range. That one, I see one heck of a lot out here. This is actually a first time getting up close with a brown water this snake. This is your lifer? Oh yeah. Now, water snakes, as their name would suggest, are amazing swimmers. What's so cool about these snakes in particular is they will dive under the water in search of prey. A lot of people tend to think that the only snake you'll ever see around water is the infamous cottonmouth. But as you can see, that's far from the truth. Emilio caught the brown water snake swimming in the water. Yeah, it was, it was so diving down. Chances are that if you're out here in North Carolina and you see a beautiful snake like this swimming around, it's going to be one of these water snakes. Evan already mentioned that there's a stereotype that any snake you see by the water here in North America is a cottonmouth, and that is just not true. 
There are actually a ton of different water snake species across North America. These, in my opinion, are two of the most beautiful, but there are also northern water snakes, green water snakes, banded water snakes, the list goes on. And in a lot of cases, if you really give them respect and don't try and harass them, they won't even come near you. In fact, they're very fast to get out of your way, as Emilio oh, yeah. almost learned firsthand. Now, Emilio, talk about the temperament of these guys, because it's amazing. Well, yeah, originally, if they see you, they're gonna think you're a predator, so they might be a little bitey in the beginning. Their main defense is gonna be to musk. This one actually did musk me in the water, but after it realized that I was not a predator, and I was not gonna harm it, look how calm they are right now, not even striking. As you can see, we're not grabbing these snakes behind the head, we're not dangling them up any more than we have to, we're supporting their whole body weight, and that way, they realize that they're being supported, not carried off by a predator. Not only are these snakes incredibly special, but they're very special to us. This is the first brown water snake that I've ever gotten in hand. This is the first one yep. you've seen? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so Spencer's Lifer, the first one I've ever caught, or at least held, because Emilio caught it. And Emilio, that's a special one for you, right? Yeah, I've seen those, but I haven't seen these on the other hand, because we don't get these down in Florida where I'm usually at. So it is absolutely amazing to spend time with these snakes, but I think it's time now to get them back because they've been such good sports. So we'll let these snakes go and we'll see them slither back into the swamp. But what an incredible opportunity to spend time with two of the most perfect predators in North Carolina. I have to say, one water snake would have been enough, but two is absolutely fantastic. So thank you for both catches, Emilio. And Spencer, thanks for bringing us out here. It is Spencer's home state after all. So if you want to see more of Spencer, go check out My Wild Backyard on YouTube. And if you want to see more of Emilio, go check out Animal Encounters on YouTube. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this one here, where we check out a banded water snake in Emilio's native Florida. And with that, we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.